guys, it's Cassie, and today I'm going to be going through the 12 best luxury bags under $1,000 slash £1,000. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie, I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably gonna love it here, so head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, before we jump into the list, today's video is sponsored by Shop Tagger. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know how much I love Shop Tagger. I've been using Shop Tagger for years. It is truly an essential tool when you are a luxury addict. Personally, I use Shop Tagger a lot over the Christmas season. I had a separate wish list that was just for gifts that I was planning on getting my family and things like that. So I knew when they were going on sale because there were lots of sales around that time. And when I was buying them, I was getting cash back for them and I was getting discount codes and everything else. So I really, I really got some deals. So ShopTagger allows you to create these wish lists with these items that you're after and then you get notified when they go on sale or when they come back in stock. It's so helpful for saving time and money when we're out here doing our online shopping. So to go ahead and download ShopTagger, go into the description box below, click on my link. You're going to go and you're going to create an account. Then you're basically going to download the Chrome extension from the Chrome store. It's going to do its thing and you're done. It's free. Then, as you're surfing the internet, doing your thing, coming across a piece that you are just like, oh my gosh, that, I think I might be in love with it. You're going to go onto the right-hand side where this little S lives. You click on the S, you're going to save it to one of your wish lists, and then you will get notified when it goes on sale or when it comes back in stock. You will either get an email or a mobile push notification. This is one of my wish lists. You can have as many as you want, maybe one for yourself, one for gifts for family and friends, things like that. Also, ShopTag has this functionality where when you're checking out, this little friend pops up on the right-hand side, you click on him and he scours the internet for any coupons. So you make sure that you're getting the best deal you can get at that point in time. Also, ShopTag has a cashback feature, which I've been absolutely loving. So it works for specific retailers and you just get cashback whenever you shop and then it gets paid into your PayPal. Easy. So go ahead, download ShopTagger below. Thank you, ShopTagger, for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's get into it. Kicking it off with bag number one, the Prada Re-Edition 2000. Not only does this bag give us all of the Y2K vibes, but I love this bag because of how easy it is. This is a pick up, throw in your card, your keys, your mask, your hand sanitizer, your lip gloss, whatever, sling it over your shoulder and you're done. And she's cute and she's stylish. This shape is very classic. It's very timeless, but it does come in a great range of colors. This is a really, really great option to buy. Also, nylon is really hard wearing. I think this is a fabulous bag. Bag number two, Saint Laurent Lou belt bag. Again, comes in a number of colors. The majority of these Lou belt bags come with that kind of chevron quilting situation, but I did find one that was also in smooth leather. You've got the YSL kind of hardware on the front there. It's quite a nicely sized belt bag. It's not too small. You can get quite a few things in it, but it also doesn't look too bulky on the body. The belt only comes in one size, but I do think that you have enough kind of room to adjust on the belt so that you could wear it around the waist and across the body as well. It does come with this tassel. I, for one, am not a fan of the tassel, but it's detachable, so you can tassel on, tassel off. Also, you can remove the belt so it can be a clutch as well. Versatility, we love her. The next bag is the Balenciaga XS Everyday Crossbody. This one does come just over the budget, forgive me, but I think it's a good one to include. Now, I like this bag because it's very simple and easy. It is your kind of standard crossbody camera bag. Obviously, it's Balenciaga. It's got the logo on the front. There are some people that are just like Balenciaga people and some people that are not. If you're a Balenciaga person, you're probably going to love it, okay? It's simple, there is nothing crazy or outlandish about this bag, but I love the fact that it's got a top handle. It means that you don't just have to wear this crossbody, you know, you're not just limited. So I love that little top handle aspect. Keeping with the kind of crossbody camera bag style, this is the Givenchy Chain Bond Camera Crossbody. Again, I feel like this is a very casual bag. This is a great everyday bag, great size. Now, they do do this in a, I believe, a slightly bigger size that's got the Givenchy logo across it. So there is that option as well. But I just think that this is a really great everyday throw on and go option. Okay, the next one is the Miu Miu, how does anyone say this? Matelasse? Mini bag. I, I don't know why, but I just really like the vibes that this, that this little bag is serving me. It's like um, a cute little rectangle. You've got, I think, two sections in there and a little kind of pop over clasp 
clasp with a strap. It's very feminine, it's very chic, comes in a few colours, you can fit a phone in it, and I think that this is an option worth considering. Okay, this is a random one, but I wanted to include it. This is the Cara Crystal Camera Shoulder Bag. Um, I love all of the sparkles and all of the details happening here. You've basically got a very simple square shaped camera bag covered in crystals with a silver chain strap. I love this if you're wanting something a little bit statementy, but to be very honest with you, although it is a statement bag, it's not so out there that you couldn't wear this to like pop off an everyday look, you know? The colors of the chain and the bag work really well together. So have a look at this. I think it's cool, I think it's cute. Why not? Bag number seven, the Gucci Ophidia mini bag. Don't know why they've called this a mini bag because they do minier bags than this, but I think it's a really great everyday size. The Ophidia range is very classic Gucci, so I don't think you need to worry so much about standing the test of time with styles. Again, a camera bag is a very classic style, so you're great from that aspect as well. You've got an adjustable strap, very casual bag, casual everyday moments. Bag number eight, you know I had to include the Jacquemus Le Chiquito. This is a TBE, tiny bag energy, moment to serve. This bag is not practical. This is not an everyday bag, though I do like to use it as such because, you know, like I'm just good with like cards and keys. But the majority of people would use this for like um, a little evening moment, a little trip to dinner and whatever, okay? And although we're not having as much of those as we used to, I'm just saying. They come in a range of colours, range of textures. The price differs slightly with like, if you want embossed croc or you want smooth leather or you want suede or something like that. I think it's cute. I think it's very iconic, okay? This is now luxury fashion famous. Bag number nine is the Balenciaga Caba uh, Tote in the small or the extra small size because both of these come under the budget. So this is more of a, um, an everyday kind of shopper bag if you want something easy that you can just throw your stuff in and go, you know, little tote vibes. You can put your water in it and stuff like that. It allows for more room than like a camera bag style or something like that. I just think that this is a really great, possibly more towards a summer vibe. Very spacious, casual, I like her. Bag number 10 is the Prada Saffiano leather shoulder bag. I love this. This is a very classic piece, okay? Again, camera style vibes. You've got that classic Prada Saffiano kind of grained leather there. And then these also come in a really nice range of colours. The colours seem to change up often and you can have it where the hardware matches the colour of the bag or the hardware is a gold and the bag is like, I don't know, a black or a pink or something like that, okay? So, so you have a few different options with this bag. Again, I apologise, this is just, just slightly over budget but worth considering. Bag number 11 is by a brand that I don't really talk about on here because it's usually not my vibe, but this bag I've got to give some credit for. And this is the Chloe Mini C Vanity Bag. I love this cute little shape it's got going on. I love the C hardware. I love the fact that it has a tiny top handle. That just makes it for me. Okay, the versatility in how you can hold this bag. I think it's interesting. I haven't seen it being talked about a lot and it comes in a few different kind of like textures and colors and things like that. So definitely worth a look. Finally, my last bag because I just had to, just had to end it on a mini bag for us there. Is this Saint Laurent Baby Lou? This is so adorable. I may just shed a tear. It looks like it might be big enough for like your cards to fit in there, possibly a card holder and you know a couple of other tiny essentials but it's just so cute okay it's like a mini camera bag you have the YSL logo on there I love the fact that the chain is like half chain half leather it's just so adorable and comes in some really really delicious colors so if you're looking for a mini bag flex maybe this is one that you want to have a look at let me know what you thought of my suggestions in this video thank you so much to shop tag for sponsoring this video don't forget to download using the link in my description box if you haven't got it already I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.